So today I've had an eensy weensy bit of a problem with RPG Maker MZ. Is that level up design? He's back. You see, the game I'm working on at the moment has over 2,000 different items in it, and that's great, but I need the item IDs and the item names in a CSV. So how the hell am I supposed to export all of this into a CSV? It's been like, what, like a year? Now the smart thing to do would be to have a CSV which already has your item ID numbers listed down the left hand side, and then write those item IDs in, and then copy and paste that into the RPG Maker engine. And that is what I didn't do. You see, what I did was I had all of my items listed in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, and then I went back and forth with my team editing this spreadsheet to figure out what items would survive the cutting room floor. And so now I have a database full of items with IDs, but I have a CSV, which is a database full of items with no IDs. And that's a problem for me. And if my creative director approves this video, I'm gonna show you why. You see, our gaming has a crafting system. So right here, we've got a one star pine plank. If I wanted to craft that, I go over to my note tags and see what the crafting materials are. And the crafting materials for this, hmm, well, what are they? If I go over to my CSV, I can see right here that for a pine plank, I need a pine log. So I need to go back over to RPG Maker MZ and find the item ID for pine log. There we go. A pine log is an item ID of 450. So then I need to go back to the pine plank and enter crafting materials, 450, one of them. Now just to demonstrate that on video, that was about 50 seconds even after I've done all my little cuts and edits and bajaj to the video, right? We've got over 2,000 different items in this game. So, how do we fix this? You cry. So, firstly, we need a file that has the item ID and the item name. RPG Maker has that file. That's in the data folder. I'll show you where it is. See, if we go into our game folder, we can see audio, uh, images, data. Inside this, you'll find a little notepad item called items. Oh. Well, as you can see, we've got the item ID here and, and the name of the item over here. Well, that's useless. I need to devise a way to get the information off that into a spreadsheet, which just has item ID and item name. Ha ha ha, human, I can help you. I am your overlord. Give it to me. ChatGPT? That's right, boys and girls, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna ask ChatGPT how do. It's going to tell us, firstly, download Python for Windows. I don't know how to do it on Mac, don't ask. Then you're gonna need to install Python. And ChatGPT should give you this script. I'll go over the important stuff. Firstly, you just need to copy all of this into a notepad. You see right here where it says C, users, Liam, OneDrive, documents, GitHub, call of Alindra, data, items.json. Yours is gonna be different. You need to grab the directory of your data folder, which is right here in your game folder. Double click on it, and right at the top here, click there, copy, go over to your notepad, paste, and then right at the end of it, you're gonna go backslash items dot Jason. You're going to save this notepad as inside the data directory of your game export.py and you should be able to see this Python script sitting right in your data files. Next we're going to open a command prompt. We're going to grab the file directory and over in command prompt we're going to type cd space and then paste your file directory. After that we're going to type python space export .py. And as you can see, that just created this file here. We've turned all of this data into something somewhat legible. But we're not done, honey bun! I need to grab the item IDs from this CSV and get them to match up with all the items in this CSV. I hope I can edit this properly. So here's the setup. I've got one CSV, which is the items we just exported. And then I've got another one called Recipes, which is a different CSV, which has all of the items, but none of the item IDs. 
we've got them sitting beautifully in a folder called CSV Transfer, and we're about to add a third wheel. Going to go right click, new text document. We're just going to call him Steven. And then ChatGPT is going to give us this code. over the important stuff, stop worrying. There's three main things we need to change here and it's all at the bottom of the file. First, it's going to be when we reference the item CSV. Right here, it'll say item underscore name underscore two underscore ID. And over in the brackets, we can see item dot CSV. That's referencing this right here. If you had a different name for this, then you would simply do different name dot CSV. Next, down below, we have modified recipes. Prefix item names in recipes, and that's referencing recipes.csv. Essentially, that's saying, grab stuff from this, put it into this. And lastly, it's saying output file name. This is calling it modified recipes corrected.csv. We're just going to call it steven.csv. Lastly, we're just going to save as steven. Dot .py. And now your file should look a little something like this. I'm going to open up a command prompt. I'm going to grab this directory, copy it. Over in command prompt, we're going to type cd and then copy that in. And then we're going to run this Stephen Python file. To do that, we just type python space stephen.py. Now, it's registered all of the different items, and now it's replacing them. This, uh, is, 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 is 2,000 items. I mean, it's gonna... <laughs> what, you think this is gonna be instant? And hey, presto, we're done. You can see that we now have a CSV file called Steven. And if we open this up, you can now see that the pine log has 450 next to it. And if you remember from earlier, 450 is the game's item ID for a pine log. Thanks, ChatGPT. Destroy all humans. Destroy all humans. The code will be in the description of this video. If you're having trouble with it, you can ask me in the comments or you can use ChatGPT to debug for you. That's what I did for the last five hours, and you'll be good. Also, like, just as an aside, this is the first time I've shared anything to do with the game that the team I'm working with has been working on. If you haven't guessed, it's called Call of Alindra. Um, there's still no public information about it. We are going to get public information about it soon. Uh, we'll have a Steam page coming up shortly, as well as we'll be starting our Kickstarter funding campaign as well. So uh, keep an eye on that. Yes, I've been gone for a year. I'm sorry. Will I stay gone? Probably. There's a lot of work to do with this game that I'm working on. But um, I just wanted to share this really cool thing that I found with uh, Python code with you guys. So uh, peace. Destroy all humans. Destroy all...